kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part five of my video series on live camera filters app in Android Studio. All right, guys. So this will be the last part, and in this. Uh, last part i will try to complete the code and the, uh, now i will write the code to capture the image so let's get started and also save the image in the phone directory all right so before starting let me specify the on pause and on resume and on destroy methods so here we will have on pause method and inside this on pause method here i will check if m camera is not equal to null then we can say m camera dot stop preview and m camera dot release all right then here inside our on destroy method we can check if m camera is not equal to null then also m camera dot release and m camera dot equal to null all right then here uh, as you can see that we have the this on click event uh, so here we will have the case for our uh, capture button so we can say r dot id dot rv iv capture and inside this method we can say m camera dot take picture and what it takes is it will take null then the second one will also be null and the third one will be the m picture so what is the m picture so we can say private camera dot picture callback and we can say m picture equal to new camera dot picture callback and here we have the method that is on picture taken all right so when user clicks on the button so now we will be here inside this on picture taken method so what we can do we can say file picture file equal to get output media file and here we will create this method and here we will have this method here and we can simply say file media storage directory equal to new file and here we can say environment dot get external uh, storage public directory and inside this we can specify the folder name so we can say environment dot directory pictures and here we can specify the name of the folder so in my case we can say my images okay so now here we have this file and it is uh, now we can what we can do we can now check if it is if it does not exist so if media storage file does not exist and also here we can check if media storage file dot make directories then what we, we just need to return null then after this if we now need to use the secure random we need to generate a random number so we can say secure random random equal to new secure random and then we can say integer num equal to random dot next int and here we can specify a bound and then we can simply return new file and here we can say media storage directory dot get absolute path then we need to use a separator so we can say file dot separator plus we need to use some image name then we can say plus the random number and finally we can say dot jpg all right so that is the way uh, inside our get 
media output file so now we can uh, check if it is equal to null if picture file equal to null then we need to return null or we just need to return okay then else what we can do so we can say media scanner connection dot scan file and it will take man activity dot this then we can say new string and inside this string we can say picture file dot to string then we can pass null then we can say new media scanner connection dot on scan completed listener and here okay so this is the other sign here and yes okay so inside our on scan completed method we just need to start the preview alright so here we can say m camera dot start preview okay and after this we now need to write to using the file output stream so we can say file output stream fos equal to new file output stream and here we can pass our picture file then okay so now we can uh, surround it with try cache block then after that we can say fos dot write and here we can pass our data and it is saying that we need to have io exception so here we can say catch io exception after we write the it so we can say fos dot close all right so i think that is enough <coughs> our project is now uh, complete so let's just run it and let's see if it works or not so let me connect side sync and connect my phone <coughs> yes now let's run the app let me enable the presentation view make sure that you have the user permissions enabled in the app settings alright so now my app is running and if I click on this you can see uh, we can show this horizontal scroll bar and here if I select negative so you can see this is the negative and if I select none so it is back to its uh, normal condition then we have this aqua then we have this black then we have the polarize then we have sepia then we have solarize and also the whiteboard so if I take a picture so here I have taken this uh, picture here of sepia uh, and now if I go to our folder here go to internal uh, folder then search for the pictures here yes and here you can see my images okay so here you can see the images these are the two images which I have taken alright guys so I hope that you have understood uh, many things from this short uh, series so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye